I play Amanda in The Glass Menagerie. There's so many parallels to my true life and the character's life. Being a single mom, um, having divorced the dad, and um, struggling to find my way again. Um, it's kind of like a, you know, a rebirth of sorts. One of her lines is, I think it's a pity, um, I think it's tragic that a young, when a young girl puts herself at the mercy of a handsome face. And that's exactly what she, she fell for, a pretty face. And I don't know too many people that have good stories about that happening. <laughs> um, as far as her children are concerned, she loves them immensely. The tragedy of it is that that love, it's, it's stifling because she doesn't see the future or the world in the way that her son sees the world. Although she wants to love and support him, but she wants to love and support him in the way that she sees right. And her daughter has love. Um, she loves her glass figures, but her mother, the love that she has for her daughter is a little bit more stifling because it's kind of that stroking and, and not giving her enough to go out on her own. The way I approach a role is, is uh, I read the script a few times and I get into the psychology of what the who the character is, their mind frame, what, how they, why they do what they do. That brings me to why they say what they say. So it's the mind, it's the vocal, and then once you have that psychology, you have the, 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 the script there within the world of the play, once you have those words, then you can learn those lines. Because if you know how they think, then you know how they're going to speak. Then you know what their mannerisms are going to be. So those lines and those mannerisms just come naturally. It's about love for me. I, I approach all my roles with the aspect of what kind of love does this person have? Is it unrequited love? Is it lost love? Is it needed love? Is it, you know, a zest for love? Or, you know, it's, it's, it's about love. She always has hope, always has hope. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about the character is that she always has hope. And I hope that <laughs> the audiences uh, see that and see that she is, um, she is very optimistic and, and hopeful. And I think that's what, uh, what we need um, a lot today is, is you know, hope. <laughs>